Uh, my name is Patty Carey. I'm Vice President of Public Relations with Northcott. And um, we have a whole bunch of new fabric collections that we want to inspire you and your customers with. And quilts made up of all of these. So the first thing I want to do is uh, introduce Deborah Edwards, our Creative Director. Uh, Deborah's at the back there. So, and Deborah is uh, the one responsible for spearheading all of our collections and um, just um, having just a broad um, range of collections that Northcott has. So um, I want to, uh, each of you had a um, red bag when you came in, and I'm going to point out, did you miss, some of you missed the red bags? Um, on the way out, please get one if you did not get one. Um, that's your, your gift from us. Um, a couple of things I want to point out that are in the bag. Um, the first thing is some Quilts of Valor uh, products. Because it's late in the day, we always give you food. And it's chocolate, because we're quilters after all. So, uh, the Stars and Stripes, we have uh, rock candy, Stonehenge rock candy. And this uh, quilt market, it's red, white, and blue for Stars and Stripes. So, there you go. Um, because uh, Northcott has a, um, a collection that's part of our Stonehenge that is Quilts of Valor and money goes towards Quilts of Valor for, uh, from this collection. And um, in your bag there is a Quilts of Valor brochure and we have lots of these. If you want any for your store, please just let your sales rep or um, Northcott know and we would be happy to send some to you. And um, the other thing we have uh, in the bag for you are two complimentary downloadable patterns from Northcott's website that use the Quilts of Valor Stars and Stripes collections. So um, we have four quilts out of the uh, Quilts of Valor that we want to show you right now, the Stars and Stripes. This is, and these are both Quilts of Valor size projects. They, um, they meet with the guidelines of Quilts of Valor. The first one that's on your left is made with the stone strips, strip pack, that's the Quilts of Valor one, and that's um, Stars of Valor. And this one here has uh, the panel, one of the two Stars, um, Stars and Stripes panels in the center can be used for this, and um, it's quite an easy pattern, braided chevron, and so it is the larger size of the guidelines for that. And we also have quilts that are on loan to us from a couple of groups that have made quilts for Quilts of Valor. The, this one here is from Crafty Threads Quilts of Valor group in Florida. And the uh, one on your right here is from the Shelby, Ohio Quilts of Valor group. So we're really happy to be able to showcase these quilts that these uh, groups have made for our uh, service personnel. awesome ombre stripe so I'm going salvage to salvage here but you can see how interesting that fabric is and uh, the pattern designers that we work with have done a wonderful job creating quilts out of these collections so we have um, this one is Ocean Rhythms by Jan Douglas Designs and the one on your right is Interwoven Paths also by Jan um, really creative way of using that ombre stripe in these quilts. And these are um, patterns that Northcott has available for sale, or you can purchase them from the designer. Okay, and the next couple that we're going to show, um, what is the guy's got here? We have Rock Steady. This is by Kate Mitchell Quilts. And this pattern includes two different color options. This is the darker background version, and in her booth, Kate has the lighter background version. <coughs> and again, she's used the, um, that ombre uh, stripe in the border fabric on this with great effect. And the one on your right is Color Bridge, and this is by Elisa's Back Porch and uh, just fantastic use of color. And the thing that I really noticed about these quilts when um, the designer sent them in or when uh, my piecer and I were making them is the color value with it that's within this collection and how the, the fabrics all work together beautifully because they have that range of value. And that is directly um, as a result of what Deborah does with the collections. Um, 
we've got, uh, Hanya has a smaller one here. This is Kill Bear Pine by Quirks and Quilts. And um, I really love her, her stuff. She's a new pattern designer that's working with Northcott. And uh, her landscape um, designs are just really cool. Very, very group of seven if you're Canadian, group of seven. Um, we also have the, the, the square pegs is on your far left there. There are two options for that one. This is the second option. So the pattern includes both options. And the small one in the middle is beneath the Earth's crust, and it's just a really simple quilt that showcases that um, ombre fabric quite nicely. And then this one here, again, you can see the wonderful values in this collection, and this is Geostrata by Wanda's Designs. So if you've ordered this collection, uh, it will be in shortly, and these are the patterns that are available for it. And if you haven't ordered it yet, but you want to, then just drop by booth 2419 infomercial. Um, all right, uh, with the Toscana, uh, we have um, several quilts here that we've had a chance to make up. This one is Candyland. And um, the thing I loved about this collection with the Toscana, and Deborah worked really hard with this, is creating the gradation of values with it. And you can see these these uh, first few quilts really showcase this beautifully. So um, just you can see the light to dark in each of the color palettes that are in there. Um, so that pattern comes in multiple sizes, I think maybe three. Um, this, one, this one is color burst. <laughs> this is mine. Um, it is hilariously enough, this is the same, uh, when I started designing the, uh, the Candyland, this is the same kind of pattern. The block is just skewed and that's the result, but I loved how it turned out, so um, it's a pattern as well. Um, come, that's the lap size, it also comes in a queen size. And this is just spooling. Uh, a lot of fun, very simple to do, and uh, again, you can see how it's showcasing the, um, the colors that are in this collection. So. Yes, these will be hanging in the booth. Yeah. Um, this one here is my cheat sheet. Um, Half Moon by Trillium Ridge. And um, again, just working with the values. Um, this pattern includes a wall hanging, a placemat, and table runner as well. And the next one is Stepping Up. Uh, this is the jewel tone version. This one is by Plum Tree, Laura Blanchard. And again, Laura used the values uh, to great effect in this quilt. So these are all patterns that are available either through Northcott or through the pattern designer. And uh, this one here is Toscana Twist. Uh, Bargello um, using maybe about 65 colors. Um, <laughs> one, yeah. Um, and uh, it comes in three different sizes. So just a really fantastic eye-catching way to showcase those rainbow of colors. And you can see how beautifully they all work together. And we have a couple of non-quilt items. Uh, the tote bags are the Twister Totes. This pattern is by Around the Bobbin. It includes a plain version and the twister version. And the other item is what I'm wearing. This is the Whispering Creek Jacket by Morning Glory. It's not embellished yet, but it will be. I just sewed the binding on the sleeves half an hour ago. <laughs> What we have done with this, uh, we wanted to um, have a pattern that had something a little bit different in it. So there is some applique in it. And I know, how many of your customers are afraid of that A word? Uh, yeah. We've made it really easy. We came up with something called Easy Pieces, and they're pre-cut, pre-fused appliques. So you can purchase the appliques to um, go onto the quilt, or if your customers like to do applique themselves, they can make their own appliques. But if they are afraid of that A word, we've made it really easy. All they have to do is peel, place, and press. So the appliques are available 
for this project, and it is a 12-month, block-of-the-month project. So this project um, has a little bit of background, but all of the applique is the easy pieces. And uh, even some 3D work on the bottom corner there. So a really quick project. And that is in the current issue of Quilt Trends Magazine. Okay. All right, so now we can go with these ones. And this will be a test of my memory because I didn't write these ones down. Um, so we're just going to say, and this is another lovely shimmer quilt. Um, this one, Diamond Alley by Sassafras Lane, which is a new pattern company <laughs> at Fall Market. And uh, I trust they're here too, or their pattern is available. Um, this one is by Pine Tree Country Quilts. And it's one of two that are by Pine Tree. This one is, this one is, <laughs> then, let's do this one. Yeah. El Nino, and this is by Quirks and Quilts, um, using her the applique. And this is Quick Fused applique. And Debbie has um, t uh, Twist. This is by uh, Marilyn Foreman, Quilt Moments. Shimmer twist. And oh, this one is um, Starshine Beauty. This is mine. Um, and um, yeah, that's okay. Um, Paul has My Favorite Birch. This is also by Quirks and Quilts. I love this one. Anybody who has birch trees, it's just uh, fantastic. Um, this is the other one by Pine Tree. And uh, what, what was the energy? Yeah, renewed energy. Uh, a log cabin, off center log cabin. <coughs> Very cool. And great shading shown in this one, too. That's the other thing that um, all these quilts, the, what I found when I was doing mine and what the pattern designers found is again, when Deborah did this collection, the shading in it is fantastic. So you've got um, nine different fabrics that go from light to dark and you get a real wonderful gradation which and you know most quilters don't realize that it's the value that's doing the work in the quilt not the color they're drawn to the color but it's the value that's doing the work and so when you have collections that do have that value included in them everything works beautifully um which ones I, have we got I here a question about that? yes as a marketer yes the, the, the collection just arrived the whole second half of the collection just arrived in my shop this past week I want to kit it up and put it in fat quarter bundles. What's your professional recommendation? Do I fat quarter bundle a bundle of you know eight or ten in the same color family, or do I take the same print in all the colors? Um, I would whichever you choose. We Northcott has we we do have fat quarters in the collection, so our fat quarter rolls have nine. So we work within one palette. So each roll has light to dark of nine different fat quarters same color in the same color and there are seven different color groupings yes and because you did that we did the opposite with our back corners we did the, the print okay it's selling really well. has okay. it good yeah. good so either way will work just fine this one is by innovations yep and it's paper pieced just a great way to showcase this this is by Lisa's back porch uh, with her circle templates and uh, great Great show, uh, gradation showing in that one, mixture of colors. Uh, this one is by Jane Spolar, Quilt Poetry. Her beautiful applique, and this is Signature Jane. Um, this one is... Shimmering Strata. Shimmering Strata. I should know that this is mine. Shimmering Strata. Um, yeah, oh, it's been one of those days. Um, two different Bargellos that are uh, intersecting there. I kind of like Bargello. Okay, and so this is the original shimmer that we had, um, and we still have lots of this, and you're just getting it, and the quilters are still using it, and it's just continuing to grow. And um, so what Deborah did is she came up with shimmer additions. So um, well, the first the first couple of quilts actually are the fat quarters from our fat quarter roll. So there's a couple of quilts that use the fat quarters. This one is called All Squared Up by Jean Boyd, and this one uses the blue roll and the green roll, the peacock and the lagoon. And this one uses the pansy roll. 
So, you know, just take one of those rolls and uh, make that up. And on the back is the Shimmer Editions. Um, that quilt pattern is by Fabric Addict. It comes in the lap size that you see there and also a queen size. So the next few quilts showcase the Shimmer Editions. And the amazing fabric that's in Shimmer Editions is that um, ombre fabric that you see <laughs> on the back of these quilts. So it's incorporating all the different values that are in the light to dark within each color palette. So this one here is called Old Friend by Quirks and Quilts. And this one is Sunset at Sea by Fabric Addict and it comes in a lap size. This one is Down by the Dock in the Bay by Quilted Escapes. And she's used a variety of colors of that ombre um, fabric in there. So you can see that's pretty much all that quilt is. And then the next one is um, Sunset at Sea. This is the queen size version, but it's really awesome. So I really wanted you to see it. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that cool? So the center is mostly shimmer um, with a little bit of the deep, deep value, which is shimmer additions, and that border is the shimmer additions ombre fabric. So these are hot off the press. Patty, how many skews are in the new one? Um, uh, how many skews in shimmer additions? Um, Eighteen? Okay. Uh, not yeah seven seven of each of the ombres and then seven darks and then um, a couple of lights um, that have the like white with the the gold dot on it or I think maybe white with the silver dot as well. Um, uh, our sales rep Shirley Mandler made this one. This is um, the Jaybird pattern and Shirley used the fat quarters for this. So this uses sixteen fat quarters. Night sky. Uh, isn't that? Night sky. Night sky, yep. And you can just see how beautifully they're working together in there. Okay, and that is Shimmer Editions. Um, the next collection that we have in the Artisan Spirit. So Deborah developed Artisan Spirit as a, a sister brand to Stonehenge. Um, something for the inspired quilter that art quilters could use and so a lot of the quilts that you saw are, do have an artistic flavor to them but you can see that a lot of them also are traditional quilts and it works beautifully in the traditional quilts as well so the next um, collection that we have as part of artisan spirit is falling leaves and this collection was designed by elaine quayle and Elaine is an art quilter, and this is Elaine's quilt that inspired the collection. She dyes her own fabrics and um, does just beautiful art quilts, uh, a lot that have nature on them and um, fantastic shading in them. And uh, so that is the original quilt. This is Elaine's... Oops. <coughs> Um, the, so what we have here, this is one of the fabrics that was created. Isn't that awesome? As a quilter, this, the, I really love this. Um, so selvage to selvage, light to dark, and it looks like Elaine's quilt printed onto fabric. How cool is that? Yeah. So, um, we wanted, we asked Elaine if she would make a pattern. So her pattern is quite simple. It's a chunk of this fabric with the, um, her signature <laughs> leaves appliqued on. So just about anybody can do that. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, and we have two other spectacular quilts that are made out of this collection that will be in the booth. This first one is called Tumbling. That's me. Oh, nope, this one. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, this is Tumbling by Whirly Gig, Chris Hoover. And uh, asymmetrical border on it, but uh, truly an art quilt, just amazing. And look at how beautifully those fabrics work together. 
Um, so not only in this collection is there this pre-printed fabric, but there's also a really awesome um, ombre fabric in the collection as well. And um, Chris used the ombre to great effect in this one. And this quilt here is windswept and this is by Patchwork Studio. And so in the center of this quilt, this is the autumn colorway. The, uh, the green one is the spring summer colorway. Um, in the center of Daphne's quilt, you can see that ombre fabric. Maybe, yeah, move it out to the center. Can you see that ombre fabric there? And it's just delicious. It looks hand dyed. Um, Deborah's just done an amazing job with it. So um, this is a very exciting collection for us. So we just have a couple more little projects to show you. So this is a Starry Night 2. This is the wreath, which is this year's um, pattern. And uh, the other quote that we have here is Sweet Things. And uh, the sparkling multicolored lights that showcase the cupcakes. Yeah. Now, uh, the quilt that Dee has here is, um, uh, I think, a customer of Shirley. She has taken the tree from Starry, the original Starry Night, and she has embellished it, and uh, trapuntoed it, and um, put ribbon, and it's just beautiful. Just beautiful. And she also took old time Christmas and uh, did the same thing with it. So if you could see this quilt up close, and uh, I think Hanya will walk down the center aisle so you can take a good look at it. You know, for years, panels have had a really bad rap. People call them cheater panels. I call them get to the quilting faster panels. Have fun panels. Um, and, and these quilts really showcase, these last two quilts really showcase that, you know, for, for your customers who, they just want to get something done. The panels are a wonderful opportunity for that. And I think more and more of your customers are buying panels because we wouldn't print them if you were buying them. And we do an awful lot of panels. So um, please do encourage your customers to um, have fun with them. As you can see, these things are a lot of fun. But there are a lot of quilts, I mean, the Stars and Stripes, the Quilts of Valor, that one, about two of those quilts had a panel in the center. And it just, it gives the quilt something to start with, a, a focus for the quilt, and then you can branch off from there without having to spend hours and hours and hours piecing that center part. Um, and, and in a lot of cases, it, especially with something like this, it makes the quilt look like it's applique without actually having to do the applique. The beauty with, with working with these panels, when you quilt them and you stitch in the ditch, there really is no ditch. So you can actually quilt them about three times faster than if you had to slow down and focus on staying on the right side of the ditch. So um, the quilting actually happens faster and so therefore it's more enjoyable because your customers will get their project done faster and then hopefully be back for more fabric, their next panel. Um, do you have any questions on any of these things? What was the name of that line with the stripes underneath? This one? What's the name of it? This one is called Falling Leaves. Artisan Spirit, Falling Leaves. And um, the other new collection that um, we, we don't have the quilts for, but uh, Tracy Sims next door, she had her schoolhouse just before us, and it's Botanical Blues, and that's the other collection that we'll be showcasing in our booth. Beauty, it in, incorporates the embroidery with it, so if any of the, you have embroidery um, customers or machines or thread, any of that, uh, the um, Botanical Blues is the next collection that we have that has that um, incredible embroidery by Zunt Designs. So Zunt is uh, right across the aisle from us and um, 
we have a couple of quilts that are hanging in the booth that have um, the botanical blues and the embroidery in them. So, so please do come by and see our booth. It's uh, 2419 and have a wonderful market and thank you for coming to this presentation.